what well, every blessing to you all and welcome back to another walking talking pulpit video just a short video this morning as I see the birds circling above me I think of Matthew 24 and uh, Revelation 19 concerning the return of the Son of Man and of course as the birds are circling from uh, Matthew 24 and uh, Revelation 19 you've got hundreds of thousands if not millions of dead bodies all over the earth it's a terrible picture of judgment not quite sure why these particular birds are circling and I hope you can see the birds it's a very hot May morning but as I was stretching my legs about to return home these birds caught my attention and I thought so I would just quickly film what I can see and ask you to pray for me please as I get ready to record the book of Psalms this coming Sunday morning I was considering doing a one-off study before I begin the book of Psalms but I thought I wouldn't do that I would go straight to the book of Psalms and for Psalm chapter 1 I've already got two pages of mental notes it's gonna be very interesting to record the book of Psalms over the next three to perhaps five years now the birds are starting to recede starting to disappear very strange and yes this is where it all began at the beginning of the lockdown this grotesque graffiti and this bit of strip The trains continue to work throughout the lockdown and now we are returning, Lord willing, to normality. And I may do one more walking talking video but from another location that I found two weeks ago. In fact I actually filmed a video from this new location. I went home, watched it, and I thought it wasn't good enough. Every so often, material is made which isn't as good as it could be. Morning. Got no tracks on me, unfortunately. I just left a couple out at the local bus stop. So I need to be better prepared the next time I come down here. But uh, I made a video, like I say, a few weeks ago from a new location, went home, watched it, and I thought, no good, no good. So I had to delete it. I think it's fair to say that nine out of the 10 videos that I make are good enough to go online but one out of ten is not so I can't really complain somebody flying somewhere but that's all just a quick short video from the walking talking pulpits I will return to the new location soon it's prettier than this location and I will share some more thoughts with you all but I'll leave you with the picture of gates or fences a better description going back to Jonah who went into the ground was three days and three nights in the heart of the earth, in a literal fish's belly, 
and after three days and three nights was resurrected as was Jesus. What a marvellous God we all love, worship and adore. And I will sign it now and wish you every peace, joy and blessing. Keep me in prayer for Sunday. 11am sharp, I will begin, Lord willing, the Book of Psalms. And I will speak to you all very shortly in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. In fact, as I was about to return home, a few more birds returned and decided to circle me. And of course that awful description from Matthew 24 and Revelation 19 concerns the bodies that will be massacred and the birds are going to eat the flesh of the dead. You think of uh, John chapter 6, eat my flesh, drink my blood. Figurative language, of course. But in Revelation 19, Matthew 24, it's literal. Many, many dead, killed by the Lord. The plagues, the pestilences. And these birds are going to circle and they'll eat the flesh of the wicked, the unsaved dead. It's going to be a massacre, an absolute massacre. Not easy to film with these birds. But uh, when it comes to judgment, the Word of God says how judgment begins at the house of the Lord. And then it goes to Wicked people, ungrateful, unholy, unregenerate, and more birds circling. There's a cemetery not far from here. In fact, there's two not far from here. But I am curious as to why these particular birds are circling. An ominous sign, perhaps, of the massacre. And if you're not saved, what a terrible thought to spend all of eternity burning in the lake of fire. And of course birds in the Bible, as you all know, are types of unclean spirits. These are pretty birds, as far as I can see from here. But they're hungry, they're circling. They're looking for something to eat and they will find it. They will find it when the judgment comes around a beautiful chirping bird, but at the second advent, it's grim, incredibly grim. Well, I couldn't go home without a PPS picturing the cross, a symbol of hope. I showed you the birds that were circling, somewhat grim, somewhat negative. And yet, as I'm about to head back, a beautiful picture of the cross. Hope, symbol of redemption, symbol of forgiveness. And that's typical of the Lord's goodness. The Bible is like a coin, double-sided of course. The first side of the coin can be negative, the other side can be positive. And here you've had two sides to one coin. Began rather bleak and yet has ended on a positive note. And I wanted to PPS this particular clip and leave you with something to be thankful for, grateful for. And I'll just try one more shot of the cross before I sign out for good this time and wish you every peace and joy in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen.